Uh, so what was your motivation for making this donation and renaming the school? Well, I have been involved with the school, re-involved since graduation, uh, for about oh, 13, 14 years. I got reconnected. Uh, and I joined uh, really through the chairmanship of the Partners for Progress Capital Campaign and then Dr. Trani asked me if I would be on the board and Governor uh, Warner and then uh, Governor uh, Kane both appointed me to two four-year terms. And, uh, and then Dr. Trani asked me to chair the advisory board here at the School of Mass Communications, which is about to have a new name. And so I found a great amount of uh, satisfaction because in the capital campaign I made a donation back then and my uh, I talked about it in my commencement speech that uh, I started thinking for the first time in my life uh, what would my life have been like but not for this privileged education here at VCU which allowed me to learn the television business not only taking classes here but working part-time on the Channel 12 so I had a unique education of getting the real world uh, uh, the real world uh, experience as well as the classroom experience. So I decided then to, uh, and actually I thought, I said, well, if not someone like me, and if not now, then when? And that night I made a big donation to the school. And uh, it was very surprised, uh, Dr. Trani was very surprised at the time, and uh, I, I only decided to do it that night while I was putting on my tuxedo at the hotel. And so, uh, and since then, I've done other things with the uh, uh, alumni house and whatnot, but I love this place. And I really believe that my life uh, would have been very different, but not for this education. But, you know, I'm going to take a hunk of my, what I've earned in my life, and, uh, and uh, earmark it for this school. And, uh, and I hope that it can be a transformational gift that will help the school uh, you know, uh, in a number of ways, with our faculty, with our uh, facilities, uh, with fundraising, uh, and I intend to, you know, be a part of that. As you know, we're in a, having a search now for a new director, and it's just a very exciting time. And there's so many mass comm schools around the country, or schools that teach some form of communications, journalism, public relations, advertising, mass communications, there are about 100 programs. And they all call themselves pretty much the same thing. So Now, why the shift to the school of the media and culture instead of mass communications? Well, it's um, mass uh, the, what we're teaching here in these three silos of journalism, public relations, and advertising is no longer just mass anymore, as you well know. Let's face it. It's uh, not so much the shotgun approach anymore as it is the rifle approach. It's actually both. And it's very different, you know, the... the, the, the the, the cheese has moved so much into uh, how we distribute this content to people, both our journalism content, both our PR messages, and of course classic advertising. And it just no longer is done in a mass way. It's done a lot in a mass way, but it's done a lot in a very direct way, in social media and internet and, you know, guerrilla marketing on the streets of major cities, it's all kinds of stuff. And so to really understand who we're trying to reach, uh, you know, it was my feeling and a, a number of colleagues I talked to that a, that, that a name that more accurately reflects what we are teaching today and to our students going forward in the future is about media. It's about distribution. And media is about content and distribution, so that works. And then culture is, we really need to understand the culture of our customer. If you're a journalist, the culture of the people you're trying to meet, how are they getting this information, the culture out there in the advertising world of the various brands that we're selling, uh, and then the culture of the constituencies we're trying to meet in the world of public relations to you know, affect behavior and affect perception. So understanding culture is a very important part of what we're doing.